Hi, my name is Mary Chamberlain, and I will be your area coordinator next year for the um, McKenzie area, also known as Upper Campus. And my name is Robert Brigatera. I'm currently the RD of Burdick Hall, which is one of the freshman residence halls on campus. Uh, and the reason we're here today is to give you a little overview about housing at Alfred State. So let's get to it. All right, so to start it off, we're going to talk to you a little bit about the professional staff members that we have here. So we have residence directors or area coordinators on campus, which means that they are professional staff members and they are not students. Most of our professional staff members either have a master's degree or are currently working towards one as well. Um, so the RDs or ACs are here to ensure the safety and the well-being of your students, um, which means that while, yes, we are professional staff members and we do also partake in a 24-7 RD or AC rotation so that um, there is always somebody there that is able to help your students. So on top of our professional staff, we also have resident assistants in the buildings. So resident assistants are student staff members who live on the floors with your students and they are there to act as a guide and a helpful resource for your students. So they come back early both semesters to be trained on how to handle conflict mediations between roommates um, or just help students with a transition from home, so like dealing with homesickness um, and just letting them know what resources are on campus for them. If students ever need an RA and they can't find their own RA, we do have them sit in an office like this um, and they will sit there weekdays, so Sunday through Thursday from 9 p.m. till midnight and then on week weekend days, so Friday nights and Saturday nights from 9 p.m. till 2 a.m. So now let's start talking about what comes in the room at Alfred State. First of all, obviously, you get a bed. Uh, these beds are twin XL or twin extra long. Uh, in addition to the bed, you also get a desk, a desk chair. Depending on what building you live in, you'll either get a full closet or a full wardrobe. And then you'll also receive a nightstand and a dresser. Now, if you're looking for any of the dimensions on anything that I just listed or anything in the room, such as the window size or the wall size or square footage, all of that information can be found on our website, which is alfredstate.edu. So that does it for what comes with the room. Let's talk about amenities. Uh, in addition to the dressers and furniture and all, you also receive uh, wireless and wired internet within the room, and you get a cable TV jack. Not only do you get cable TV for free, but also you get HBO Go, and the cable TV that you get has all of the sports channels and the movie channels. All right, and now we are in Pete Hall's common area. This is one of my favorite common areas on campus because of the color wall in the back. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about what these common areas are and where you can find them on campus. They are found in each building, uh, as well as lounges in each building, and these are great places for students to do their homework meet after class for their clubs and activities, or anything like that. Uh, these lounges also come with a couple amenities, such as pool tables, ping pong tables, foosball tables, a microwave, TVs, and also gaming systems for a lot of those TVs. And you can also find vending machines in most of these lounges. If you're ever looking to sign out the equipment for these pool tables or ping pong tables, or etc., you can talk to the RA in the office and sign that equipment out whenever you'd like. Most buildings also have a small computer lab that students can use to do their homework. And every residence hall comes with access to a laundry facility, and student laundry is included on their bill. In fact, Alfred State also has an app where you can check which washers and dryers are free before you walk down to the laundry room. All right, so the next thing we're going to talk to you about is the kitchen areas in the residence halls. So every residence hall minus Mackenzie North has a kitchen in it. So each kitchen comes with a stove, a community um, fridge, and then an area to clean your dishes as well. Um, the RA offices are equipped with some items that students can use and check out to cook with, um, but we do ask that when students bring them back, that they bring them back clean, and they also take care of the kitchen area as well because they can be closed down to students don't keep the areas. All right, last but not least, we're going to talk to you about our housing options on campus. So within our lifestyles, we have substance-free housing. So if you are somebody who does not want to be around the use of alcohol, tobacco, or other substances, that is an option for you. We also have um, some of our quiet study areas on campus. So if you prefer a quieter lifestyle, that could be an option for you. 
We do also have gender inclusive housing. So if you are either a member or an ally of the LGBTQIA community, you could live there. Um, we do also have our 24 and over suites. So if you are a more non-traditional student and would like to live among people that are a little bit older, that is an option. Um, we do also have extended stay housing. So if you are, say you're an internet, say you are an international student and you want to or you want to or can't afford to go home over breaks, that is an option for you. Um, and then we do also have a pet friendly option as well. So if you wanted to bring a cat, dog, or a rabbit to campus, you will need to go to our housing website and apply for that as well. All right, we also have housing options that are called living learning communities. So our living learning communities are more so generated around classes, but not necessarily for all of them. Um, these have faculty mentors who are there to help our students kind of learn and get to know each other. So these are mostly open to our first year students or transfer students that are just coming in. So you can kind of get to know who's going to be in your major classes. So you can create your friendship, create your friends and, you know, know who your study partners and stuff are going to be moving forward. Um, some of our more known ones are nursing LLC in Burdick Hall or our creative house in Braddon. So Creative House goes for our students in digital media and animation or graphic design um, and nursing is for nursing students. Um, we also have our architecture LLC in Pete Hall and students that are in, interested in um, computer information technologies programs can go into our InfoTech domain LLC which will be housed in Mackenzie South. Last but not least, we do also have our proud community, which is housed in Main Gate A. So these are for students that are a little bit more um, in need of a academic or a social boost as well.